In this video, I'm going to show how to add AdMob to your game using Unity Visual Scripting. To simplify the process for you guys, I did make a package and there's a link in the description where you can download it. When you go to that link, you can scroll down to download demos and under there, you will be able to download Spock AdMob package. I have updated the Spock demo units so you can try it out and see if you want to purchase the full package. Now right here, I have a project that I used to demo how to add AdMob plugin here. If you don't have the plugin installed yet, before you import the package that I created, you'll have to do that. And the link to that video is also in the description. So you can do that when you're ready to implement that in your game. But for now, let me show you how the package works. So you can just drag the package inside here. And this package is pretty small. It has four files. One of them is C Sharp and there's three super units and also a demo scene. So let's click import. Looks like the import is done. And here is the Spock folder. We can go inside here and open the add mob demo. So this is the add mob demo scene and you can run and test, make sure your plugin is working. And right there, if I click on that, that shows a banner, we can destroy it and you can test the other ones as well. You can try exporting the project on your device and testing if all of these test ads are actually working on your device as well. But let's go and see how all of this is working and how you can set it up in your scene. First, let's take a look at the AdMob folder. And right here, I have the AdMob controller. And in my demo scene, you can find it right here. Now in here, I have also three super units. So one for banner ad, one for interstitial ads, and one for rewarded ads. To see how they're used, you can look at the demo. And here in the main panel, you can find all of these buttons. For the requested buttons, I use super units, but for destroyed and show, I just use the on click event and it's just pointing to one of the methods from that AdMob controller. But you can do the same thing by using a super unit. So inside this graph, you can see that I'm using a banner super unit and the two triggers that are available for banner add is show or destroy. Then it's connected to the game object that has the Google AdMob controller. And in here, there's also option for Android and iOS unit IDs. The default ones are the test unit IDs. So you can test these ads using these IDs. On the other side, there's some events that you can listen for. Similar thing if you look at the rewarded ad. So let's go to a script machine here as well. You can load a rewarded ad and then you can also show it. Uh, there's some more events available here. And one of them is the user earned reward. And that's what I used to show that reward game object in the test scene. So I think the super units are pretty straightforward and you can understand them. But if you want, you can take a look inside of the super units and see how they are created. And inside here, you can see that I am using that add mob controller. If you don't want to use the super units and just want to use these add mob controller units, what you'll have to do is go to edit project settings under visual scripting. You want to click regenerate units that will generate those units for you so you can actually find them in the search. So now if I look for Google AdMob VS Controller, I can find it here. And inside here, you have all the methods that are available for you to use. If you won't run the regenerate unit, you won't be able to find these units, but the super units are still gonna work. Quick announcement about the channel. Some of you asked for me to enable membership for the channel, so I did that. If you want to support the channel and get the extra perks, you are more than welcome. Like always, thanks for watching and I hope this video helped.